What the hell do you mean you won't marry me? Last night you said you would. Then I will. Okay, then. Just not today, Todd. What the hell's the matter with today? It's just as good as any other day. I don't want a sure. quickie wedding, okay? That's what the old Todd would have done. That's what the old Todd did do. Oh, that's not Drag fair. No, it's totally fair. You know it's true. He would have thought, you know, better seal the deal, nail her down before she changes her mind. Well, I'm not going to change my mind, Todd. What do you think of that? There is no need to rush this, Todd, okay? I like the time we've been taking with each other. It makes me feel special to you. You are special to me. Well, that's what a wedding should do, too. I never thought of that. Well, now you know. I just figured you wouldn't need all that stuff, because you're just remarrying the only husband you ever had. Pack your bag, surfer man. We're going to Landview. It's no can do. Legal problems, remember? You talk about the kidnapping charges. I told you I'd take care of that. Before we go? No. <laughs> no, thanks. Look, I love traveling, but uh, my idea of fun is not getting cuffed and stuffed at the airport. No, thank you. Listen, I brought up those charges on you, I mean, so long ago. You're not even on anybody's radar. Just use one of your other fake IDs. I know you've got plenty, and when we land, promise you, I'll take care of it. All right, so all that stuff between you and me in the past with your kids, we're cool. Yeah. I mean, you're no longer a threat to my kids, and besides, you've been married to Taya for the last six years. I think you've served your sentence. All right, then. What do you mean, all right, then? All right. Just like that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, with a beautiful woman, I'm easy. Oh, I thought it would be a little bit more difficult to convince you. It's not. Listen, I'm in. Plus, I, I want to see Taya in person. And with a little luck, I can squeeze a little more out of her. I cannot wait to see the look on her pretty little face when her not-so-ex-husband walks through the door. All right, pick a date. Throw the biggest wedding lamp he's ever seen. Now put this ring back on. Not quite yet. You have to tell your children oh, first God, about us. Oh, God, you're killing me here. Now, I'm serious. You don't want them to hear about it from anyone else, right? It should be from you. You're stalling. So, are you nervous? A little. I mean, what if your brother's testimony doesn't fly? Dude, Greg's an expert. He'll get the judge to see why you need that surgery. I hope so. I just want this to be over with. The operation? This whole trial. I hate that things are so weird between me and my parents. Um, I'll get it. Hey, Des. I didn't know you were here. What's going on? Nothing. Excuse me, I have nothing to be ashamed of. Oh, except that I showed you up. Oh, please. Yeah, please. I don't want anyone to see me getting my ass whooped. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ow. What's wrong? Your ego got bruised because you lost to a girl, so now you got a front? And we go to the videotape. Ready to quit, sucker? Not even close. Fine. Okay. I'll give you a few points for that hip action. Baby's got back up top, right? Shut up, David. Yeah, but the rest is all me. You cheated. You distracted me. You're easy to distract. You cannot buy this kind of chemistry. <laughs> Someone want to explain this to me? I will. Your Honor, may we approach? Mm-hmm. Thank you. This is the police report prepared by Lieutenant John McBain. The minor, Justin Lowell, was found in possession of a bag of marijuana and turned into evidence. Young man, you're being charged with possession of an illegal substance. How do you plead? My son is not guilty. Uh, Mayor, with all due respect, the accused needs to enter his own plea. Not guilty. A plea of not guilty is accepted. The date and time for the defendant's appearance in juvenile court will be set. All that remains is one question. Will the accused minor be released into his father's custody, or will he be remanded to a juvenile facility while awaiting trial? Your Honor, may I speak on behalf of my son? Yes, you may. Justin is still a child. He's not a criminal. It was set up, Your Honor by a man with a grudge. 
someone who has made no secret of his wish to destroy me. My son was framed by the man who arrested him, Lieutenant John McBain.